girl. I done found some stuff. So it's time to see what your girl has gotten and gotten into. So I did pick up a few other things, but those are not for this video. So, so some of the things that I got, y'all might have saw like in some of the clips, but I did want to like end to be like, you know, what is it again? So um, I'm just gonna start with the first bag. I really gotta work on my lighting because this is a okay guys once again sorry if the lighting is doing some different stuff I'm wearing the color white which is not the best idea when you're filming and then I'm like putting different colors in front of the camera so it's making the light I gotta really get that together but I do apologize if that is distracting so we're gonna start with the first bag it ended up getting the Kylie Kindle and Kylie little um, pewter metallic quilted bag. It has this strap on it, which I've already doubled because like I like this whole idea to double the straps. Um, but it does have like the belt buckle kind of strap. It's pewter. And I know what you guys are thinking. Jaya, didn't you just get a silver bag? Well, baby, this is not silver, this is pewter, okay? Pewter. I don't have a pewter bag. So, um, it has like two pockets in it. This cute detailing little flap. I, like I said, I don't really care for the name, but it's really mint. It's very like, it's not that noticeable, so I'm not gonna trip over it. And then it comes with like one of these little things. I just think it's really cute, like, a different kind of bag I feel like this one is better to go out in because I've gone out in my silver bag especially if you guys watched my last vlog I styled my silver bag obviously I was gonna wear silver regardless but it is kind of big to just go out like if I was going out for drinks yes but I went out kind of like to dance and have a good time and that was kind of big I feel like this is a bit better of a size um, and it's that quilted look, which gives very like elegant, not even elegant, but just upscale. It gives upscale, that's what it gives. What I spend on here somewhere for $13.99. Gonna have to put her up here somewhere or I need to start a new shelf. Cute. Okay, so the next thing I ended up getting, I didn't show you guys this, but I got this shirt. It has buttons on the wrist and the arms. So you get a tailored look on the arms and then it has a collar with a deep V and these two strings to kind of tie and play with. I love this shirt, I tried it on, it looks good. It's definitely gonna make a statement when I put it on. It can be dressed up, dressed down. Um, I think I've told y'all this before, but it's probably been over a year now. I love white tops. White tops are never going out of style. They always give what it's supposed to give versus color. And I prefer white versus black. And I know a lot of people prefer black. I like black on the bottom, white on the top. This is a piece. I was really excited about this one. And I got this for $11.99. Okay, so the next thing I got, I showed you guys, if I'm not mistaken, in the store. And it's the, I'm calling it a smock dress. I'm not exactly sure what you call these, but I really liked it. I like the collar, the buttons, um, because of the high, um, I don't know what you call these, these little pleats or whatever. Because of that, it gives you long legs, so I'm going to be selling legs. Um, I did get this in a small. This is the only one they had, but I definitely love this style of dress, especially for the upcoming um, season. So I did go ahead and get this, but it is a little short, so I'm going to have to wear like biker shorts underneath, but that's just for any like bending over slip ups or anything like that. It's not like my whole behind is exposed and you'll see the shorts. 
It's just for if you bend over, whatever. And y'all know, when you want something, you figure it out. So, it doesn't really do it that much justice, just kind of like in my hands, me showing you. But I tried it on everything, and it's what I was envisioning. So, this is cute. And I got it for a mere $12.99. Okay, so my next thing is this dress. This ribbed knit collar i guess collars are in right now um collar little you know sweater-esque vest no not vest dress and um in this sage green i'm hoping this is sage green yeah i think sage green is this light green which was the color of 2021 now this dress i tried this bad boy on girl it's giving grown woman body. Yep. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to um hang out in the junior section any much longer because of the way that they like hang on your body and stuff. I need something with more structure sometimes, but I'm still only 24, so like what am I talking about? Modesty what? Modesty where? Modesty why? Modesty who? You know? I don't have to do too much talking about this, you know. It's just your tank top, collar, rib knit, sage green, sweater-esque dress. And this one was, was $14.99. So I also grabbed me another little dress. It's kind of like a transitional piece. It's a layering piece. It's like one of those pieces that um, I'm gonna have to add two because it's just a little. This is like a stretchy satin um, bodycon dress with these spaghetti straps, which are adjustable, which made the world of a difference for me to purchase this because if not, it was not going to be um, for me. But girl, the body in this looks great. And um, I even like it with like my hat and like my sneakers when I tried it on I was like ooh like the girliness of the color and that mesh or like stretchy satin it gives it like that girly kind of glistening look and then the tomboy edge of the hat and the sneakers was really really cute but that's why I was saying I know that if this was a satin dress the ones that move the vision of that would come to life more because a lot of fashionistas typically pair those um cow neck satin dresses with like some casual sneakers or something with this being a body con which actually fits to the body it's giving a little different of a look but i wasn't mad at it but regardless for what is this eight dollars i'm pretty sure this was 8.99 i'm gonna tell you in a second though for this to only be $8.99, I was just like, let me grab it because regardless, it's a spring color. Um, it fit me well. It has the adjustable straps. I felt comfortable in it. Um, and, you know, those were enough things to check off my list to just grab it. The next thing I did show you guys and I'm really excited for it because this is one of those things that I typically can find at Ross. I find a lot of my accessories at Ross. The meat of my outfit doesn't typically come from Ross. Um, sometimes, because sometimes they got something in there that's like, okay. But most of the time it is my layering pieces, my accessories, my bags, my shoes, um, interesting tops, interesting pants, and jackets like that's what i usually i i go in there with an eye first and foremost and i think i was telling you guys this while we were shopping i'm like yes i might like something but what is my um what is the rate at which i might use it again um i'm being more intentional in, the, in that way because ross is discounted so you'll see things you want and it's like i'm just gonna get all of it but it'll serve you for one purpose and i'm trying not to do that anymore but with the point i was trying to make is just that ross is a great place to get those pieces that are going to elevate your outfit or you know really elevate the outfit i've said it multiple times say you're running errands and you throw on this cute behind jacket you found at Ross. like it just elevates the look and that's what ross does for me um so this jacket was nothing different and i wasn't surprised that i found a jacket i 
typically find outerwear in Ross. But this one is distressed in cream. Not even white, but cream, like a nude cream. And the bottom is even distressed with these really nice buttons and it's just denim. It's just denim and it's just perfect. I put it on in the store, I was like, oh yeah, we taking this home. We're taking this home, I already knew it. But yeah, I really love this piece. And my jacket was $18.99. And that is typically the most expensive thing that I get from Ross whenever I pick something up is I'll go on that outerwear or two piece or I don't find and it'll be that and I'll be like, dang, I was doing good. You know, I'm staying around 15 under. This one ran me about 20, but it's gonna get used, so I'm not mad at it. And for the finale, I also got the shoes. I got the shoes. I sure did. They look really good on my feet. They're the perfect heel hike for me. I don't know about y'all, but I am, I just, I want to have a good time versus my heels being the highest in the room. Like, I already got long legs. I'm deceptively tall. Like, I don't really be needing that extra, ooh, I need height type of thing. So, I keep it real comfortable, sugar. Um, so these fit that bill very well. And I love the tie up part to it. And this was e these were even comfortable because normally they're not that comfortable with this like skinny strap here. These are typically not that comfortable, but because it's not too high, there's not too much weight shifting down. Plus it does have another strap to kind of help with that so that it's not just the balls of your feet holding yourself up like they really be doing it like trying it with that like every time i get caught because like my toes look like my feet look good in shoes like that but they just hurt like all the pressure is right to the top of your foot like mm -mm. so yes i did get the shoes um and like i said i do have some snakeskin shoes already but they're not this colorway and they don't lace up like this so this is much more like a sandal um and twenty dollars yeah i'm gonna get them and they're in size nine because like i told y'all size nine don't always get the good stuff yeah i'm gonna get them i'm gonna get them <laughs> i'm gonna get them i don't know i don't know i couldn't tell you i couldn't tell you i'm just me but yeah these city <laughs> These bad boys, cute as hell. Then they wasn't hurting my foot. I'm like, yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> Let me chill. Okay, babes, so this is actually the end of this video. Make sure you guys leave me a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know how you enjoyed today's video. What was your favorite piece? Why are people always texting us? It's talking to us when we're busy. Anyway, so as y'all can see, like, I got, like, a new purse, new shoes, three dresses, and a new jacket for $100. Like, that's that's how I like to shop. I don't know about y'all, but that is how I like to shop. Like, I want things. Like, I feel like I love things. And so, quantity matters to me. Like, and I know people who prefer quality. I have a homegirl. Her name's Ashley. She's always well-dressed. Like, her style, like, you know, I, I admire it. And she will let me know, like, yeah, I spent this much on this, you know, because she likes to invest in quality pieces. And I'm like, to each his own, you know, like, I'm all here for it because I really do and can admire her um, style. But personally, I love seeing my $100 get me multiple things. Zara places like Zara and, you know, the places that are a little bit elevated your hundred dollars doesn't go as far you know you you spend a hundred dollars there and you might get like two pieces now don't get me wrong you're gonna love them pieces because they're gonna be some pieces you know but i i like to take turns with how i shop 
like that because sometimes you just need like you need pieces that make statements and elevate your wardrobe but then you also need to be able to elevate your wardrobe in a budget too so that you can really cultivate a closet you know what i'm saying so i would just say you know kind of take turns with it because i that's what i do but i love to see my hundred dollars get me eight things like that like i just be like yeah okay like i got new stuff i can tell you have new stuff so i just want to point that out yeah make sure you leave a comment down below let me know your favorite piece that you might have seen in the video um i really do hope that these videos will help you guys you know venture out try new things understand that fashion is subjective style is subjective so it's not about the brand it's not about how much you spent on it it's about what you're gonna do with it and i'm hoping that i'm helping you guys with this i don't want to sit and just talk and tell you all these things i just kind of want to show and tell and hopefully you guys can kind of pick up tips and tricks from me and understand that yeah like yeah like you don't have to like you can mix high end low end so that you get like variation and stuff but like honestly a whole expensive outfit typically looks tacky like unless like you gotta split up the pieces you gotta mix them you got to anyways so i like to have fun with my style because i feel like it shows my personality who i am um how i feel about myself i definitely think my style shows how i feel about myself because when i get dressed it's fun for me and i go out and people notice me people are paying attention and i feel like that tells people like she is very sure of herself um she's confident in herself um she's stylish but it just says a lot about me like i'm comfortable with me like i am yeah and like whatever that outfit is saying because sometimes it might be saying i'm flirty sometimes it might be saying like okay she's edgy sometimes it might be saying like okay she's girly um bubbly whatever I just really like how my outfit lets people know who I am a bit. Like, they just know, like, okay, she's pretty confident. Because, like, she don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Even leave me a comment down below letting me know, like, what was your favorite piece? Did you enjoy this style of video? Do you like shopping with me? Um, because I'm trying things out and I want to know what works and what you guys enjoy. So definitely talk to me in the comments. Follow me on Instagram. DM me. Let's talk. Let's chat. You know, and I got some more ideas coming. So I need you guys to be participating and responding. And so we can grow. And, um, you know, do our thing, child. Do our thing. I'm going to just close this video out now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next one.